If you found this video, hopefully you've already watched our video on why inflatable boats lose air pressure. If not, go check it out, it could save you some time. The first thing you'll want to do when checking a valve for leaks is pump up the boat. Spray the valve inside and out with soapy water. If you see bubbles form on the outside of the valve like this, it probably means that the valve needs to be tightened with a valve wrench. Do not use any other tool to tighten the valve. Wipe off the soapy water, then spray the valve again to see if you've stopped the leak. If instead of seeing bubbles form on the outside of the valve, they form inside the valve like this, there might be debris in the valve. It's easiest to loosen the valve while the boat is still inflated. Once the boat is deflated, you can grab the back of the valve, but do not use pliers. Take the top of the valve out. Push the plunger down and wipe it with a wet rag. It might also be helpful to clean out the inside of the valve with a cotton swab. Replace the valve and tighten it with a valve wrench. When replacing C7 valves, make sure to reinstall the black ring with the groove side toward the boat. Inflate the air cell and tighten the valve again. Spray the valve inside and out with soapy water to check for leaks. 